So where are we off to today? Well, one thing I can tell you is that we're in the highlands of Peru, outside of Cusco, and there you can see the magnificent Andes in the background. This is a little village called Maras, which is located about um, an hour outside of the city of Cusco, which of course was the Inca capital. And this was a very sad, poor village, but thanks to tourism, uh, the people are actually getting an advantage from tourism in this area, not specifically in this neighborhood, but in the central square. So again, the question is, where are we off to today? It's one of the most magnificent of Inca accomplishments called Marai. And this is what Marai looks like. You see this incredible series of circles. Now this was an agricultural complex, but it was also an amphitheater. So during the growing season, it was an experimental station for the Inca, and off-season it was used as an amphitheater to celebrate Pachamama, or Mother Earth. And I believe it's the only one of its kind in Peru. Now we're walking through the streets of Chinchero, and Chinchero is an Inca town. You can see the Inca foundation walls, and this is a very curious doorway frame that was recycled from a much more ancient structure. The surfaces are perfectly flat. And now we're looking at the actual Inca work at Chinchero. But notice the tight-fitting stones at the bottom, the bottom half, as compared to the top half. And also notice that the lintels or cross pieces are of a different kind of stone. The lintels are made of basalt, and the quarry for the basalt is some 50 miles away. And here again, you see the staircases are also made of basalt from the same quarry. And then here, we're going to see something quite spectacular because Chinchero is a huge site. It's a combination of Inca and also much older megalithic work. And we're going to see some very curious cutting and shaping that was done in pre-Inca times. And then the site was later adopted by the Inca somewhere between 700 and 1,000 years ago. So you see the probable Inca wall on the right, and then this amazing cut staircase in the bedrock itself. Now the opening appears to be megalithic, and there is the so-called guardian of the site. Is it a natural formation? Again, this wall on the left could be Inca, or it could be megalithic. And there's the curious gateway. And now we're walking deeper into the area of Chinchero. Chinchero is located about 45 minutes outside of Cusco. And this is where we see curious cutting into the stone surfaces that don't appear to be of Inca vintage, but actually appear to be much older, possibly done with some forms of lost ancient high technology. And what was the original function? There are literally thousands of these strange depressions in the metamorphosed limestone bedrock in the area. And here we're actually looking inside. This is a passageway, probably natural originally, but then the surfaces of the walls were shaped. And here again, as we go deeper into the Chinchero location, again, we're going to see more of these mysterious cutout shapes. Some people, of course, will say that this was a quarry, but where is the stone that was actually quarried? And what kind of technology was responsible for doing this kind of work? 
The Inca were a Bronze Age culture. This is quite hard stone. And then we find mysterious outcrops like this that again were shaped. Some appear to be seats, but seats for whom? And for what original purpose? Now you can see the difference between the megalithic wall in the foreground and the cruder Inca wall in the background. So like all of the major sites that we visit, we see transformation done by the Inca of a site that they discovered several hundred years ago. And this is called the sacred place of the stone condor. Notice the seat. Who sat in that seat? So you can see that Chinchero is absolutely massive and it's actually much bigger than what you're seeing in this video segment. It is several hundred acres in size. And again, we have a combination of what is probably a megalithic construction, very tight fitting work, and then later Inca construction, which wasn't quite as good, or actually, to be truthful, quite inferior to the original megalithic work. The mystery still is, who were the megalithic builders? Where did they come from? How did they do this? And what happened to them? The theory that some of us have is that this work was originally done 12,000 years ago, just prior to the end of the last ice age, or possibly even older than that. Now here again you see the megalithic construction in the foreground, the cruder Inca work in the background, and then the facade of the church is made of basalt stone, which came from a quarry 50 miles away. And what caused this interesting damage to that wall? It looks to me like it's actual heat damage, and the theory again that we have is that it's quite possible that plasma strikes from the sun from an ancient cataclysm struck this place. So it's a very interesting place to visit. Quite a few tourists do come and see this because it's in between Cusco and Machu Picchu and it's well worth your time to visit the intriguing ancient site of Chinchero. Now, these are books of mine on Amazon.com, Baalbek, Lebanon, Megaliths of the Gods, Children of the Pharaohs, A Brief History of the Copts of Egypt. The Copts are the descendants of the dynastic people of Egypt. Lost Ancient Technology of Egypt, Volume 2, including the amazing Osiris Shaft. Beyond the Black Sea, the mysterious Paracas of Peru, including all of the DNA results that we've received. Lost Ancient Technology of Peru and Bolivia, containing sites you've probably never heard of. Puma Punku and Tiwanaku, quite possibly the strange and ancient site on this planet. And Lost Ancient Technology of Mexico. Yes, there are megalithic elements in Mexico.